We've been telling you about freezing pipes, of course. The problem so bad for one woman, she had to be moved to a different apartment. But getting that to happen was a fight. Tonight, just how fast management worked to move her once they found out our crew was on the way. News Force Spencer Humphrey is on the night beat with details. The one thing I can't get over in this apartment is the smell. I wish the camera could pick it up. But beyond that, look, this is the smoke detector that fell off the ceiling, and that's her bedroom that she says her landlord wanted her to stay in while this whole apartment was being repaired. For two days. It smells like so damn moldy and almost like something besides clean water. <laughs> This is what Megan Dillon and her roommate at the 2900 apartments in Norman have been living with. You can see the damp spots on the ceiling. She says her landlord left this unrented bedroom wide open by the time we showed up Thursday, locked when this month's Arctic air came to town. She couldn't drip the faucets inside and the pipes burst Tuesday morning. As for the rest of the place. This is my bedroom. It's a damp, smelly mess. A big portion of my carpet is still dirty. On Tuesday, she asked her landlord for a clean place she and her dogs could stay. And what they had told me is we can't guarantee that a, a pet friendly apartment will be available. So while we're looking, you can stay here. The conditions aren't too bad. She says at one point her landlord said they could move her to a new room, but she couldn't take her dogs with her. Megan says she told her landlord Thursday morning she'd be calling the fire marshal and talking to News 4. And then within the hour, they're like, oh, we, we found a pet friendly unit. Here's the keys. But her belongings are ruined. And she says she still hasn't gotten a response from her landlord about how she could file a claim through the renter's insurance included in her rent. And right as we were leaving her apartment Thursday, someone from the apartment's office showed up. I tried to ask for some answers, but this was the only one I got. Well, unfortunately, you're not allowed on property. It is private property, so we will ask you guys to leave. In Norman, Spencer Humphrey, Oklahoma's News 4. Well, after Spencer left the property, he left a voicemail with the 2900's corporate office to try to get more details about Megan's situation. Their corporate office called him, but refused to answer any questions, instead telling him they were going to report him to the police for breaking and entering that apartment, even though the tenant invited him inside. 